Hey, it's Brian here. Uh, we're going to talk about the optimization toolbox from MATLAB. Um, before we get started, let's talk a little about, about optimization with trading strategies. Now, you got to take it from my perspective. You know, optimization is one of those black boxes to me. I don't know exactly what it is. That's why I'm going through this process to understand what all these toolboxes are capable of, of uh, what their capabilities are. Now with MATLAB, especially with MATLAB, um, it's, it's, a, it's pretty well a gold standard of how to, to learn about pretty well anything scientific or math related because just of the quality of, of their products. So, you know, uh, optimization is a big curiosity to me. But talking to a lot of people out there, people say, oh, don't, don't waste your time on optimization. It's a stinker. You're wasting your time. I hear that. I respect it. And these are from probably the most experienced people that I've come across over the last few years. Um, and maybe it is a waste of time. Um, but for me, my membership, especially the newbies, um, we're going to explore this to see if it is a waste of time. Maybe it is. But... It's always good to understand something, even though it might not be good for us. So uh, that is what is the rationale behind this demo or this uh, overview of the optimization toolbox. So I'm going to go through this um, and all the lessons and all the videos and all the stuff that I've, I'm talking about here. Again, I keep saying it. You know, it's it's only available for my uh, membership. So I'm just going to skip all the the um, the uh, the um, table of contents here. I just did a quick overview. It does look useful. I hate to say it, but it does look useful. But uh, maybe I don't know. Let's just let's just take a look at it. Okay. So we we we've, we've always talked about in the past videos. If you if you've been following me, these tools, these especially these GUI graphical user interface tools from MATLAB are really useful. You can generate code. Here you go. Generate code from these uh, tools. So very powerful if you're not a, a programmer or whatnot. Um, one thing I like about these, these user guides is they en enable you to get a full understanding of uh, how these uh, tools, the logic, and just basically generally learning about optimization or whatever the toolbox is, is, is a good uh, place to learn about that particular topic. Um, and a really good uh, example uh, and, and just really well done documentation. And that's what I like about MATLAB. Okay, so first obviously linear programming, coming from the trading world, very critical, uh, especially in the world of quant. Um, now, solvers are, are important, especially if you're uh, getting into Things like using tools like uh, Simulink because that, I mean sol solvers are the the uh, the foundation of how Simulink models are executed. So this looks like a good place to start to understand how solvers work. And again, using things like linear programming. Don't ask me. Uh, I was never a good person at at algebra or linear I just ran away when I was in university from it but here I am 20 years uh, 25 years later learning it and, and getting into it again so again I'm gonna be uh, looking at all the examples all the different solvers as you can tell here um, here you go quadratic sum of squares da 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 da, da. Um, and, and a good summary there so you can see that uh, these these documents can be very very uh, useful. Um, now you may be asking, well, what's like where do I get this PDF? These PDFs, uh, these user guides are available to licensed users of MATLAB. So you need to be able to log in with a valid um, account uh, so that MathWorks knows about you. And you're registered with MathWorks, and then you can you can download all these PDFs to your heart's content. And I'm basing these user guides uh, off of uh, all the examples and all that content I provide my members are off of these PDFs. I've already done about quite a, a number. Um, okay, so now we're hitting another important section here. Jacobians, I see that a lot in a lot of the quant books. 
Um, so quadratic. I mean, I'm learning a lot about math, or I should say, revisiting a lot about it um, uh, from these type of PDFs. It's, it's a great experience for me. Now, here we go into um, the the optimization with bound constraints. Um, all these different type, types of constraints. Maybe this is where the limitations lie within um, the uh, the optimization. So you can see there's all these different examples. We'll try to go through ones that are applicable to finance and trading. Um, and uh, keeping to what we're doing, um, it's just here's the tool. One of the examples of the tools that are available looks like. Again, I've never seen this stuff. Now, again, you can see studying these curves that somewhere along the line you can trigger something if a certain condition is met. This is the power of MATLAB we're talking. Now we're getting into something um, that's really important uh, in the world of quant is derivatives. Uh, where, where do you think the name derivatives comes from? I believe. Now, don't add. Them. But here's some examples of that. Um, so we'll probably focus on that and what's available. Um, now we've got our results, blah blah blah. Um, I'm gonna try to understand all this stuff. Um, once again, for my members, I'll be doing some live webinars on stuff like this so that they can get their questions answered and and see what I can provide for them. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of math, a lot of algorithms, a lot of equations, do 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 all that stuff. Um, you know. This is important stuff, I th from what I'm seeing. Now, I'm sure there's going to be somebody out there kind of counteracting and saying, well, here's why. If you, if you feel that way, leave a comment. Let, let other people understand what the limitations are. Lagrange, Multiplier, uh, Hessian, these are things that I'm familiar with or heard of. Um, and... Uh, Keep it chugging along, right? Like that's what it's about. Um, you can see there's a lot of programming uh, with the MATLAB, a lot of prototyping. Okay, so again, the solver, solver, solver. Again, that's part of Simulink. So this is going to be something really good to understand about solvers and the importance of them when it comes to Simulink, because that's what Simulink's based off of. But from there, with Simulink. You can build an entire, really an, an entire trading, automated trading system from it. And you also get the code. Like, just, just look up my YouTube channel, all the stuff on Simulink, and you'll see the, the, the power of it. So maybe this is important. I don't know. But again, I need to understand what I'm getting into before just listening to somebody and fluffing it off. It's, it's not fair to the situation, and it's really not fair to my membership um, without properly um, exploring this. So there, there is some uh, uses from what I see here um, and uh, yeah I mean um, I get excited when I when I get into this stuff and I, and I know I'm just scrolling through the through the uh, the PDF here I'm just trying to give people uh, again an overview an overview of what this toolbox is capable of and what it can do um, and just by going through all the, the functional pages this will help people understand what the the uh, toolbox can do um, optimization algorithms now this is the crust of probably what I'll be looking at all these examples because I work uh, what I demo are just examples um, so you know again look 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 at look at look at the the proper explanation of this stuff it's um, really, even if you're coming in from ground zero and not even understand, let's say you just walked off a spaceship, you don't even know what math is. I think with 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 enough of the PDFs and how math works has written a lot of their um, a lot of their uh, PDFs. You could really educate yourself on all this stuff um, through the MATLAB way or the MathWorks way. I really firmly believe in that. Um, like I, that's what I'm basically doing. I'm just blogging the journey as I learn it, and that's what my membership's based off of. Um, and that's all from the programming side as well as from the what I call the analytics side of the algorithms and and the uh, uh, all, all what you're seeing here. This is just one example of of what 
uh, you're capable of doing. So, again, um, here's here's this looks like a good example. We can understand what bound constraints are. Um, maybe good, maybe not. I don't know, but we'll 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 figure that out as we get to it throughout uh, the next few days, the next few hours. Who knows the way I've been going. Um, blah 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 blah. Very powerful PDFs. Um, now people ask me about R. Can you get this sort of thing with R? Uh, not only will I laugh, no, you won't. Um, the 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 tutorials and that are very limiting compared to what you get with MATLAB. That's why, as a paid product, MATLAB, in essence, kind of blows the doors off of R, especially if you're trying to learn about math, science, programming. It's just MATLAB is a, an amazing one-stop shop for all this stuff. So again, here's the Hessian. Um, so it looks like there's a demo of that, which is good. Now, all the examples here you might think, oh, you can't really apply uh, this because it's not data from, from the markets. Well, guess what? It is. Um, you know, when you, when you look at your market feed and you're, you're analyzing all this stuff in real time, you can easily um, easily convert it into the returns or something and be able to generate a time series from it that where you can use these type of tools or toolboxes and apply that to that data. So the data and the examples you see here may not be from let's say trading but it really is no different because you're just looking at the um, it's, it's really you're looking at the methodologies and the algorithms that go behind it. And, and this is what banks use, this is what uh, hedge funds use. Very important stuff. Um, you won't find this stuff in retail trading platforms. None at all. And that's why the, 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 the pros are, are really good at what they do. Um, well, you think. That's what, the, that's what you hope for. So we're still in the examples. Lots of examples here. It looks good. I only handpick the ones that I look that look like they're... they're um, useful for trading. Oh, here we go. Here's something like a neural net. Um, that could be useful. I don't know. It's just, you know, we'll experiment and, and try to understand it. And um, you know this, least squares model fitting. A lot of people using that in the world of quantum. No doubt about it. I see that a lot. Um, it's just one methodology. Um, these type of uh, models, the Levenberg uh, method, I don't know. Goss Newton, I've seen that before. So the certain ones, I'll, as I said, I'll, I'll hand pick. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Uh, here's here's a Simulink model, right here. Simulink model. This is what the model will look like. Now that might not mean a lot to you, um, but that's what we're going to get into down the road, and that's what a people are a lot of are are wanting to really understand. Uh, how to use MATLAB, or sorry, Simulink in the world of um, of uh, trading and finance. I'll, I'm, I'm probably going to be the only guy showing that. And again, here's your output through the scope. Um, a lot of electronics kind of uh, approach when it comes to, to Simulink. So I'm most likely will at least take a look and get a, a hint of how to use this sort of stuff in the world of um, Simulink. Powerful, powerful, powerful stuff. I, I don't know how many times I could go on about it. Here we go again uh, about uh, curve fitting. Um, again, I just did curve fitting in the last day. Um, blah, 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 blah. Lots of stuff. Um, yeah, man, this, this could go on and on and on and on and on and on. But I, I honestly cannot tell you how jaw-dropping it is to see this sort of thing. Um, with 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 MATLAB. Um, here, Goss Newton is another one that I've seen. Um, yeah, you just see you just see. I'm, it's it's the stuff is endless. We're on. I have no idea where we are in this, this PDF. Uh, we should be coming up to. Yeah, okay, there we are. Coming up to the end of the example chapter. Um, let's see what else. Okay, now of course parallel computing. This is so critical here. Like you're doing all these simulations, you need to to expedite the process. Well, this is where MATLAB really shines. Um, regardless of your FPGA or your GPU, um, you can easily work with a GPU card, which I have on my system, 
um, you just use a standard M script and MATLAB does all the work for you to ha and take advantage of your GPU. In my case, I'm using a CUDA. Um, I mean, it's not a big one, but uh, it's there. Um, so maybe I might fool around with that. Um, but uh, it looks like uh, we might do a little bit of that as well. Um, blah, 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 all these uh, other tools, I don't think, I'm not sure how useful these will be, but I'll, I'll look into them. And then, um, we get into the function list of this toolbox. So, quality of the, of the documentation is quite good. But, there you go, um, it's, 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 a, it's a good overview of this toolbox. Um, again, is optimizing a waste of time? Who knows? But we'll try to get an answer for that in the next few days. If I see useful stuff, I'll, I'll, I'll point it out. And when it, when it comes down to testing, I'll, I'll know within, you know, a very short period of time if it is a waste of time or not. But so far, I do see things that look quite interesting in this toolbox. Got comments.